My name is Kevin Caffney. I'm the director of the Department of Public Works in the town of Situate. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about ice pegging. Um, it's a project we recently started doing in Situate in an effort to clean up some of our older pipes that have a buildup of iron and manganese. What's occurred, some of our wells in the past have high rates, higher rates of iron and manganese that are put into the system. Um, after years of not being able to flush the system, we had older pipes. We are now in the process of trying to clean these pipes. We've eliminated a lot of the sources of the iron and manganese, and now we are trying to get the iron and manganese out of the pipes. And the method that we've chosen is ice pegging. The exciting thing about ice pegging is it is not invasive to the system. Um, it's not a pegging of the system, where the pegging typically includes running a, say, a football type object through the pipe and that scrapes the sides of the pipes and cleans it up. The ice pigging is a lot less invasive. It is a slush type pig, so it's a slush ball that runs through the pipe and scrapes the sides of the pipe off as it's traveling. It's made with our own town water. We freeze it, set it up in a special truck, and then we run it through the pipe under the natural pressure so we're not putting any additional forces on the pipes themselves so that prevents breaking and we get a good cleaning of the system um, and we started that for the first time uh, recently this past uh, fall um, and so far we've seen good results from it. So while we're out on Kent Street in the Driftway uh, we took some video that we're going to show you now and you know hopefully you'll see the whole process in order and we can go from there. So what you're seeing here is the truck that makes the ice. This is the slush component that goes in. We're initiating it by placing it into this hydrant. The hydrant will then, it'll go down into the pipe and go down the street. This one of the interesting things is this is the only company in the country that has license to this technology. Um, it's used often in Europe, but it's a pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting setup. So this here is the receiver truck, and what this does is it monitors, monitors the water as it's coming down the pipe. So what's happening is there's a sample of water that comes through here and then a sample that comes off the hydrant as it goes. The hydrant goes, the water goes back into the sewer. So what we're able to do with this is tell when the ice pig reaches its set location so that we can remove it from the system and it doesn't get spread out into the system, which would cause brown water. The only difference with the ice is it's a little more saline so it's saltier and we remove it all out as we go at the end of the... So what you're seeing now is as the water is coming through, it's coming through, it's removing all the buildup on the side of the pipes, and it's coming out dark because it's the iron and manganese that we're, we're pulling off the pipes. That monitor there we use to watch the temperature. Your standard temperature and pressure are watched the whole time inside the pipe. So as I said before, we can tell when the ice pig is approaching. That's the discharge water that's being let into the sewer so that we can clean it up. So you can see it was very successful in removing a lot of material from the pipe. Um, we can tell by the color that we're getting a lot of manganese out of that pipe.
You can see now that's the ice, the ice ball, which is basically full of manganese and all the material that was on the side of the pipe coming out now. So the reason we chose this particular section of pipe is we have a well over by the golf course. And over the years, the manganese and iron levels coming out of that well has been increasing. Um, so due to the iron and manganese going into the system from that well, um, we had a feeling that the pipe did need a good scrubbing. That is the actual ice that can turn into a snowball, but you can see all the manganese and all the iron that's been removed. So again, more of the ice. It's still pretty warm out. There was not a snowball fight. Now, after the ice pig passes, you can see the improvement in the water quality that comes out. So we can tell we are removing all the ice from the system because the temperature goes back up to normal. Um, as the temperature comes into the truck with the ice pig, we realize um, as the temperature approaches freezing um, that the ice pig is there. And after the ice pig is all removed, we know that um, everything is completely out of the system and we can start to open it up again. So they run it, they flush it, flush it, until we get clean water. And the end result is an, improve of, an improvement to our system in that area, which affects the entire water system. see the improvement in the water quality from the initial samples. And here's from the beginning. We start off with a tea color. You can see where we were getting the ice through and the cleaning. And eventually we come to a pretty clean product. Um, if you're actually there in person, the end product looks perfect. Um, on the video, it might be coming out a little different because you have that red behind it. 
but uh, it looked really good. Well, one of the questions people ask is, if ice pigging is working so well, um, why aren't we ice pigging everything, the entire system? That's a possibility in the future where we are kind of, I don't want to say we're on the cutting edge, but we're, we're looking at this. Not a lot of other towns have done ice pigging. Um, when we were originally talking about doing it, a lot of people were like wondering if the pipes were going to explode or if it was going to be successful. So what we're looking to do is get the lab results and get the amount of material that we removed from the system and do a comparison and make sure it's working out the best for this town. Um, we are looking to expand the program and we could be expanding it in the future. Um, it is a great tool to have in our toolbox and it's something that we hope, uh, we, hope we can use in the future. If, and if people are interested in learning more, um, you can come to the, you can give us a call um, or check our website and we can update you on the status where we are and what we're doing with it and we can go forward.